In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the optimum settings in OBS when recording a video, especially when you're recording an interview. I will also explain how to create a multi-channel audio of your recording. Let's get started. When you want to record an interview like this, where you bring in a guest using Zoom or Skype, you have to understand there are two audio channels. My audio is coming through the microphone channel as I speak through this microphone and you can see the audio levels moving as I speak. The audio from the online guest will come through the desktop channel. Let's check it out. Sadia, immediately, first thing. As you could see, when the guest was speaking, the audio was coming from the desktop audio channel. The first problem we need to overcome is to avoid the echo. The echo happens when you're listening to the guest using your laptop speakers or external speakers connected to your laptop. The audio from the guest will be picked up by this microphone. Keep an eye on the two channels. First thing, took up the role of president of this club. First, OBS captures the audio from the desktop and the same audio is picked up by the microphone. There is a small delay by the time the audio from the speakers reaches the microphone and this is what causes the echo. How do we avoid it? Wear a headset or a earphone set like this so that the audio from the guest goes straight into your earphones and not to the microphone. Observe the two channels now. And that wraps up our prepared speeches segment. We will now move on to the table topic segment. As you could see, the microphone channel did not pick up any audio. One challenge of wearing headsets like this is that even though you can hear the online guest clearly, you cannot hear yourself. As a result, you will speak louder. Ideally, you need to connect the headset to a device that supports zero latency monitoring, such as an audio interface. But that's a different tutorial. We now have a good understanding of the two audio channels, the desktop audio and the microphone. Let's see how we can record both the channels. In OBS, click on settings. Next, go to the audio tab and make sure that your global audio devices are configured properly. OBS supports two global devices for desktop audio and four for microphones. You can set up additional input devices directly in the scene, but these are global audio devices. I have set up one audio device for the desktop and one for the microphone. Next, I will go to the output tab and the output mode currently is set to simple. And a simple output mode essentially means that OBS will combine all the audio and output it as a single mono channel. What I want to do is switch to advanced output mode. Since I'm interested in recording, click on the recording tab. Here you can define how many audio channels you want to record. By default, OBS will record only one channel, but we can enable multiple channels. Let's try to record three separate channels. And you may ask me, why do you need three audio channels? You have only two audio sources, the desktop and the microphone. Hang on to that thought. When I record the video, it will record with three audio channels and you get to decide what goes inside each channel. To do that, right click on this gear icon and select advanced audio properties. We have two audio sources, the audio from the desktop and the audio from the microphone. We'll ignore this audio source, which is the audio from the camera. For the desktop audio, make sure it is set to monitor and output. This will allow you to monitor the audio coming through and at the same time, make sure it gets recorded. For the microphone, ensure that the monitoring is off. If you set the microphone to monitor and output, you will hear a very distinct echo. This is what happens if you set the microphone to monitor and output. In the previous screen, we have configured our output to be three different channels. Now here you get to decide what goes inside each of those channels. Let's say the first channel should only contain the desktop audio. Ensure that everything is disabled except track 1 for desktop audio. So track 1 will contain the desktop audio and nothing else. My second channel should contain only the microphone. To achieve that, I click here 
And for the third channel, let's say I want it as a combined audio from both the desktop as well as the microphone. Very simple. Let's see the output with the settings. The audio that I'm currently recording, which is the microphone, should be recorded on channel 2 and 3. And when the online speaker speaks, that audio should be recorded on channel 1 and 3. Let's see if that works. Toastmaster um, Mujahid, he took 3 minutes and 40 seconds. And Toastmaster Snehal took 1 minute and 49 seconds. Thank you very much for that report. I will load the video clip that I just recorded using OBS into my video editor. I'm using DaVinci Resolve, but you can use any other video of your choice. Let me import the media file. And drag the clip in my timeline. As you can see, this clip has video and three separate audio channels. The first channel has the audio only from the desktop. The second has the audio only from the microphone and the third clip has the mixture of both. The third channel was not really required. I just wanted to show you how you could create multiple audio channels, either from individual audio tracks or by mixing them up together. If I want to mute a specific track, all I have to do is click mute track. Let me mute channel two and three. This leaves me only with the desktop audio. Uh. Snehal took 1 minute and 49 seconds. So as you can see that the audio that I recorded is not coming through. Let me unmute this to show you. Snehal took 1 minute and 49 seconds. Thank you very much for that report. And if I were to mute all tracks except track 2, you will only hear the audio from the microphone. Thank you very much for that report. Isn't that amazing? Now you should be able to understand how the audio from the desktop and the microphone works, how you can separate it and then record the channel separately and how you can edit them in your favorite video editor. I hope you found this video useful and I wish you all the best.